Hi guys, I'm Chef. If you're watching this video, happy Valentine's to all you lovebirds. I'll be, today I'll be teaching you how to compose a nice little dish for your loved one. So stay tuned. Let's get to the show. Hey, I'm the Rapping Chef, and today what I'll be teaching you how to compose a nice little plate for you and your loved one. You know, um, very easy. This is what you're going to need to start off with the project. You're gonna need lobster. A lobster tail is better. Um, you're gonna need filet mignon and also potato duffoir. So you just complete composed dish. You're gonna need a shear, aka scissors to start. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut the back of your lobster. Make sure you cut it all the way, not all the way through, but up to the top. You're gonna take your hand, break the shells from the belly of it, and then you're gonna pluck the meat out of it and spare the shell. You don't wanna break the shell because you're gonna need it to rest your lobster on. So now, let's jump to the next process. Next process, we're gonna season it. For me, I use a little Old Bay and I use a little bit of um, sea, coarse sea salt because to me, it's, it's a lot healthier. I add a little butter on there. And what I did, I put it on the grill for the flavor. If you don't have a grill, that's fine. You can do it just as how it is. Then I make a little herb oil with um, thyme, parsley, and tarragon. And then I add a little lemon to that. And then I just paint it over it just for that flavor. Now put that in the oven. You're going to set your oven at um, 355 and do it for like six, seven minutes the most. Filet mignon. I, Eight ounces, I put some Monterey seasoning, very simple. I put it on the plate and then I use the filet to sort of sap up the season. So it sticks on there and says, well, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grill that for roughly about eight to nine minutes, depends on the temperature you want it. Crisscross to get diamonds and get, for me, I like to see a nice diamond color on my filet mignon, it looks good. So we're gonna check back the lobster, pull it out, it's done. So that herb, oil that we make with the lemon herb oil that we make you just use that and sort of base the lobster a little bit add more flavors to it and then boom your lobster is ready it's ready to serve so what we're gonna grab now is gonna get the potatoes it's a gratin potatoes i'm gonna show you in the video how to make that you can use mashed potatoes if you have that for this you know, with the gratin potatoes basically sliced potato very thin like less than a millimeter um, you need heavy cream, cheese, onions, and you stack that in a nice layer. Bake that for three hours. So now we're gonna check our filet mignon is done. I grill them, I love to grill it to perfection. Eat it medium rare for me. So I grill probably around eight to nine minutes and let it sit. So I just put it on a scissor platter, add some butter to it. And now we're gonna assemble our plate. Put the potato down, put the filet mignon down, and then we're gonna jump to the lobster. Put your lobster down on the plate and then we're gonna add green bean as our veggies and then we add a little green beans to it french beans mostly if you want to use it you can get them snip if you want to just buy them and cut them yourself and then we add a little demi glaze on there and then we add a little drawn butter on there and that's very simple that's a simple dish for your uh, valentine's you cheer anyone up and for dessert the um we, you can have like a little um, lemon sorbet. Um, it's really good, very light, and you will enjoy it. And that's a real quick and simple dish for your Valentine's. Thanks for watching. I'm the Rapage.